coming up in Mizzerktastic. anywhere, anytime, hundreds of different art lessons directly to your home. Perfect for families and classrooms. Hi there, I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to learn about and get inspired by animals to make some art and drawings. Now, animals are living things like you and me where they need water to drink and they need food to eat in order to survive plus shelter. So we're going to take a look at different animals. Animals might eat plants, they might eat just other animals, or they might eat plants and animals, such as bears. They eat both. Um, there are millions of different types of animals that live on Earth. And did you know that polar bear's fur is not actually white? In fact, a polar bear's fur is actually just colorless, it just has no color. Isn't that crazy? Super crazy. Let's take a look at different types of animals. There is the elephant, zebra, monkey, fox, whale, rat, badger, and rabbit. Now let's head over to the art studio where we're going to draw a cute fox and then we're going to make a zebra painting. Let's make some art. Okay, we're gonna do a cute fox for our drawing of our animal. And then our artwork after this, we're gonna do a zebra with a rainbow background. So here we go. Cute fox. Zigzag lines for the top. Curving lines up and down. Inner ear. Zigzag lines on the side and connect at the bottom. It's just straight line big almost a what's it called heart shape snout and then v oval for a nose curving lines on either side for her eyes two curving lines down for the body two little legs pause the front and I like to draw those toes with like a little letter C shape that's a noise for attaching curving line on either side and we'll have our little back paws coming out add our tail with a little zigzags to for the white tip little curvy line here for the What's it called? Fluffy bits on the chest. Okay, let's color it in now. Have any orange felt markers left? So I'm gonna use wax crayon. So no getting 
no stopping when you're an artist. You just keep going. You pick something else, whatever you have, and then you keep going. No getting bent out of shape, not going, I can't do it because I don't have orange marker and I want to marker. No, grab a different thing. Grab a pencil crayon, grab whatever you want. Just grab something and just keep making. white so I'm gonna use look at it brown and we're gonna shade it along here with brown and the ears shade with wax crayon. make our zebra grab your black wax crayon and some paint I'm sorry some liquid tempera paint we're gonna start with big curving line let's just make it an oval curve at the bottom I made a mistake, so I'm just gonna have to make it thicker. There we go. Now we got snout. Two curving lines on either side for the body. Tail, so two lines for our tail. Zigzags for a crazy zebra tail. Okay, add some stripes. Remember, we've gotta have some Fun sound effects. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Chicka, chicka, chicka. Okay, two nostrils. I'm gonna shade below by lightly coloring below the head, onto the body. I'm gonna color in, well, I'm gonna draw an eye and color in leaving a little bit of white. And do the same thing on the other side. Then I'm going to lightly color around and color around the snout. Add a big triangle on either side for the ears and 
Let's make the zebra hair. So I'm bring it down like that. Color it in black. Add stripes on the top of the face. the top black. Okay, and then you can just paint the background like a rainbow. Whatever colors you want. Adding some water. Adding water to make that paint move a little easier. I gotta do my snout, I forgot my snout. Let's make it pink. I don't think it's actually pink, but I want mine to be pink. You don't have to do that on yours. I just want a little bit of color. Perfect! And just like that, your zebra is done. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and tag me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.